Hello Pisces, how are you? Welcome to Moonrise Cottage. My guys are saying happy September. Uh, uh, unbelievable, right? The way the year has slipped by because of everything that's going on. So Pisces, my darlings, what do you see a reading? Look at these cards. These are the Oracle cards that have come out. The Seeds of the Heart. And we have Snake Medicine. That's It's a very shamanic month. And then of course the Circle of All Beings. Because you are carrying universal consciousness. You are the one. My guys are talking about the other signs. You know, every sign has its own quantum strings of energy. You're here for a particular purpose. And Pisces, for you, it's universal consciousness. And bringing the circle together. My guides call it the tapestry of all souls. So this month, something's happening. Go and look at some of the other readings. Always, you know, like most readers say, look at your moon sign and all that kind of stuff, your rising sign. You're going to understand what kind of a month September is going to be when you get a load of what else is going on with the other signs. So we're all going through a very shamanic type of passage, shift and change, a portal, of course, because the full moon, pardon me, the full moon is opening the month, which is very exciting, and it is in Pisces this month. So big change coming to you. Snake medicine is about, it's fire medicine, interestingly enough, but it's very shamanic it is literally about transmutation and being able to ingest many poisons many snake bites and learn how to become immune to that so Pisces is a very sensitive sign I think this month is going to be filled with all kinds of activation for you and it's going to affect all of humanity and you see the numeral 8 there in the infinity symbol so your circle, of course, yourself and your circle is going to affect you. You're going to be feeling it. You're going to have a certain kind of drive. But it's the seat of the heart that is being opened by this transmutation. And the seeds in your heart are about wanting everything to come together, universal consciousness, just, you know, the world being at peace, all those things, because you're so sensitive and you know so much on the mystical realm. You literally carry it in the quantum strings of your energy. When you incarnated here, as my guides say to all the signs, you came to be here for this moment with your choice of energetics. You get to choose it before you come in. So ponder that. You chose to come as a Pisces to be here for the great destruction and the rebuilding. And I want to thank you very deeply for that because it's profound. So let's jump in and take a look at your reading. So the first, if you're new, welcome and welcome back to all of my subscribers. I, I've i been um, very busy. There's a lot going on here at Moonrise Cottage, just like there's a lot going on with you. Pisces, there you go. That is the theme of this reading from the Celtic Wisdom Tarot. My guys, are, they're chattering in the, they're very chatty today. They're chattering in the background about my ancestors and things like that. So yes, I, I use the Celtic Wisdom Tarot because it harkens back to my people many, many, many centuries back. Well, Ten of Cups, anyone? Look at that. So, uh, Pisces. It, it is a quest in this, my guide said in this book, in this deck, it's a very mystically set deck. It's the reason that I use it. You have been on, or you will be going on, or you are on a quest for Ten of Cups, the whole enchilada. And I believe you're going to manifest something this month. Some of you are going to have a very um, illuminated love connection. It's a very intense month. The full moon, of course, in your sign in this moment when all the planets that have been retrograde are going direct. Uh, there you are. You're just going to watch yourself emerge. You're going to make a discovery about yourself. That's what this is about. You're just kind of walking along in your life on this quest and suddenly the moment comes and you see yourself leaping out with all of the awakening that would be experienced by someone who has the energy of Pisces and their full moon comes on the same month. When we have all the planets going direct, we've got 
uh, Mars and Aries. They're just, the astrology is below, by the way, I forgot to say. For anybody who's new, all the links are always below my videos. The COVID-19 special price reading, still in effect, go get a reading. And the next series of um, quantum meditative classes are coming forward on the 5th and 6th of September. Links below, go check it out, okay? All the astrology is below. There's a treasure trove down there. So, um, Pisces, you're going to see yourself in a way that's real. And it's going to bring a transformation. That's what the blue garment is about. And we know you're transforming and transmuting because we have this here. Look what's behind it. That's you. Under the notion of Ten of Cups, that's you. So a lot of you are with someone very, very special, or you're going to meet that person and see the full moon again. Amazing. What do you see the rest of these cards? I can't wait to show you. So it might be a family member that you join with in a very mystical type of passage, transit, balancing. The Two of Cups is always about balancing. All the twos in every deck. So Merlin lost his way, quote unquote. He became exhausted and kind of PTSD and, you know, from, from an entire lifetime of wizarding. And his sister was very devoted to him. She built him this tower so that he could have many perspectives with which to look out upon the world and many doorways to come and go through. And in this full moon, there they sat, sharing their energy, communicating telepathically. Some of you are literally experiencing this because you're so psychic. I know it to be true, my guys are saying. We know this to be true. So some of you are going to have this kind of experience, mystical love and balancing through a loving partner. It might be your life partner. It might be somebody that you know. And because they are so devoted to you, look at the healing. This is the woman of knowledge. She is a great healer from a lineage of great healers. So some of you may be um, light workers performing healing. Some of you are going to be able to gather to yourself the factors of healing. She's picking herbs and flowers right where my finger is. That's elder flowers. And she's picking the factors of healing because my guys are saying they're, they're calling her. They're speaking Spanish for some reason. There must be somebody out there who's Spanish speaking. They're calling her a curandara. So it, midwife. They're talking about ages gone by. So some of you have emerged back into this place. Some of you are standing in this place with those factors, with that ability. And if that is not your gig, then you're going to gather those things together. And the people that are devoted to you are going to help you with whatever healing you might need. And it's coming in a very mystical way. That's the magician. In this deck, it's the decider of will. Because magic really and manifesting is all about decision making. First you make the decision and you align yourself with the spirit realm, the guides, the masters, the angels, however you prefer to understand it. And you say, thank you. Look at that, the great male god, the Dagda. Do you see how illuminated this person is at the will center? And there's abundance of pine cone at their heart chakra. The decider of will uses his energy to create his life path out in front of him. And that's where you're going. And it does have to do, very many of you, it has to do with the sacred partnership, because look what's next. Look. Whoever this person is, it's changing your life. And my guys are talking about, yeah, for, for a lot of you, this is new, or it's going to be showing up because you are mystically creating this. You are working your magic. You are doing your healing so that you're available for that kind of bonding. So some of you might be in a situation where you're not able to be with your lover. That's what the story is about. And they had to go through a mystical healing. Thank you, Spirit. That's what it is. They had to go through a mystical healing. The feminine part of this equation had to go through a rapid rebirth cycle. Very mystical. Very shamanic. Thank you, Spirit. And when that process was done, they were in a banquet hall and they were able to run together, reach each other. They ran to the fireplace, stepped into the flames and rose through the chimney. And while they were rising up the chimney, they turned into swans. And when they reached the outside, they flew away. 
it's a very mystical story so there's something make sure to write me some messages and tell me what's going on so um king of cups anyone i mean seriously pisces what the heck is going on you got to tell me there's a beautiful love story for some of you out there you know, general reading, so it can't be for everybody. And if it doesn't resonate, go and look at your other signs, your rising sign, and definitely this month, you know, your moon sign, because of this powerful full moon in Pisces. So that's what my guides call the bridge card. Look at him. And my guides are saying, and that's you when you transform. Okay, thank you, Spirit. That's why it's sitting like this. Here, here's literally how it is on the table, just like that. So I think whoever among you needs healing, you're going to literally going to get it. And it is going to be mystical and magical, very definitely. And then something's going to happen, a literal transmutation with somebody who's very devoted to you or somebody that might show up. You might uh, meet your quantum partner or you might have a quantum partner that's not a lover Always make sure to leave room in your mind and your heart for that eventuality because we're in the days of we're stepping into 4D and 5D. And that's going to happen more and more because our quantum energy, the electromagnetic DNA codes within our quantum strings of energy that we carried through to be in this place that are inside of us, it's starting to turn on now. That's what's happening. So that's a King of Cups. And this deck, the King of Art, he is known as the Sacred Path finder he finds the illuminated pathway and he is a mystical being he is able to shapeshift and turn into a raven and fly back and forth into the mystical realm he is able to see with his psychic vision the pathway see how activated he is at the heart center he is a warrior but he has no weapons his spear is used to clear away obstacles i suppose that's a weapon in a sense but it's not how he uses it so he's a very mystical guy and what follows him as the energy rises through your life because of your set point as a pisces this is the first card on the soul level of your reading so that's the earthly realm your walk here filled with magic and healing and then this is the transition the desire the magic of the magician that brings forward this creates the capacity to vision your pathway going forward and of course what you want that's a prophecy unfolding an augury the augury of skill do you see this young man i want to show you something hang on look that's the theme of the reading and there you are when you come through this transmutation so Look how fabulous this young man is. Open from the will center all the way up. He's got the blue trousers. He's had his transformation. He's wild and free. And he's intending to create that shining city. He has, this is really kind of bringing me to tears. Do you see that he has the same spear? You're going through the portal of this new moon. Or I keep saying new moon, full moon. Pisces, make yourself a ceremony. Make a special way to celebrate yourself on that day because you're going through and that's what you're looking like when you come out of that mystical passage. That's the Ace of Wands. Look. A prophecy about your soul journey and its intention in this place. And so as a human being, you have the adventures that you have. The things unfold the way they do because you are connected to the intention of your light codes, your energetic being, your light being, however you want to say it. My guides always say, we don't care how you say it, but they want you to understand the concept. Look at that. My guides have been talking about the very powerful Leo new moon that we just came through on the 19th of August. And I've been so busy between Lionsgate and the moon cycles, etc., I haven't had a breath, really, up until just this moment. And I'm just trying to get the readings out. So something happened on a soul level. This was initiated, thank you, Spirit, on that Leo new moon. Because if you look deeply at this card, that is, first of all, that's the Stone of Destiny, the Leo Fail. 
Oops. So that was the prophecy that was unfolding for you on a soul level started a couple days back. I think today's what? The 24th. So five days ago. We're still in the new moon energy. Thank you, Spirit. So if you would like to write down your wishes and your dreams and your intentions, do it right now. Do it immediately because soon we're going to transition past the demarcation point and then the full moon is going to be coming on. So if you look at this card, you see the portal underneath the moon there? That energy is coming through. It's illuminating the stone of destiny. That's the Leah Vale. It is a real place. It's in a place called Tara in Ireland. Please look it up. And so you understand what the impact. It's massive. That's another ace. So we have the ace of wands followed by the ace of pentacles. The phenomenal, very powerful reading. My my beauties. My guys are saying my beauties. So this is a moment to see how she's turning blue. Even the hair turning blue and transforming. That is Morfessa. She is the guardian of the sacred places. She is touching the stone of destiny with the energy that illuminates it. And when she does that, she experiences self, thank you, spirit, self-actualization and spiritual activation. It's really on this month, Pisces. I hope you're ready. Make time for yourself, okay? I know you have a deep practice anyways, just because of who you, that's how you live. But understand what's coming forward and what is unfolding. So all this chatter about finding I guess they're talking about, you know, the true heights of love, mystical love, aligned with the universe. Certainly, many of you out there are going to experience it on a personal level. Some of you are just going to be um, very illuminated in your light body, and you're going to help change the world just by being here. That's what my guides always talk about. Your purpose is you. You are your purpose. That's not what you do, ever. There are a thousand ways to change the world. The most important one is to be in your energy set point and to understand the way you radiate quantum strings of energy into the air around you. When you walk by someone on the street, when you, walk, when you stand in the grocery store, allow it to radiate from you and understand that you are creating a massive amount of love energy flowing off of you that creates shift and change. And that's the outcome on a soul level. The sun card. The most beneficial card in the entire deck. And you see that you're standing there with the ancient ones. That's the sacred chalk drawing at Epona. The sacred protector of lore. I said it backwards. The protector of sacred lore. So of course as a Pisces, that is your identity. And you have been through your transformation. You see that man all tattooed and marked? This is the male prince principle, the active principle, the sun. And the outcome of the reading, you see the sacred feminine standing there? It's beautiful. This is the justice card. Whatever is meant to unfold is going to happen. We see this beautiful goddess, Elena or Elena, she dedicates herself to the seafaring vessel, and that's you, beautiful Pisces. And what she does is she helps them find their way safely into the port. And we see an indication of her having had been split open and had a really intense healing being re -sown right straight down the central meridian. That's how gorgeous your transit will be this month, beautiful Pisces. So something else. I'm going to pick up from the runes for you and we'll ask the guides to just give us one more message, please, for beautiful Pisces spirit. What is it that can be known about this beautiful passage, this journey? Transmutation initiated by the new moon in Leo and coming into illumination and culmination with the new pathway on the full moon, 1st of September spirit. What is it that they need to know? Yes. Hang on. I'm going to read to you from the book. That's the room for initiation. 
something huge is transpiring. That's why I started with this is a very shamanic month. Indeed it is. So let's look. I'm going to read it right from the book because I don't want you to miss any words. And um, if you would bless me by writing me some messages below the video and tell me what the heck is going on. I really want to know. I mean, I can tell, but I'd really love to know the particulars from those of you that are walking the walk. So that is the beautiful rune, Perth. Astounding. Okay. So this is a hieratic or a mystery room pointing to that which is beyond our frail manipulative powers. Perth is on the side of heaven, the unknowable, and has associations with the phoenix, that mystical bird, thank you spirit, that consumes itself in fire, they're talking about the snake card, and then rises from its own ashes. Its ways are secret and hidden. That's how powerful you are. You are the sacred magician this month. Powerful forces of change are at work here. Yet what is achieved is not easily or readily shared. After all, becoming whole and the means of it is a profound secret. Secret, On the side of the earthly or mundane, there may well be surprises, gains and rewards that you did not anticipate. And on the side of human nature, this rune is symbolized by the flight of the eagle. Soaring flight, free from entanglement. Thank you, spirit. Lifting yourself above the earthly ebb and flow of the mundane everyday life. Look at you, Pisces. Wow, it's incredible. Thank you, Spirit. This is one of the cycle runes, and Perth stands at the heart of initiation. Nothing external matters now, except as the way it shows you your inner reflection. This rune is concerned with the deepest stratum of your being, the bedrock on which your destiny is founded. For some, Perth means experience a symbolic experiencing, pardon me, a symbolic death. If need be, let go of everything, no exceptions, no exclusions. Nothing less than renewal of your spirit is at stake when you draw this rune. Pisces. Love you guys. Mm, guys and girls, thank you so much for the decision that you made to come here and be going through this journey. If you have any questions or you want some guidance, come get a reading. Links are below. Um, do me a favor. Check out, I just revamped the whole web website. Or, well, my website angel did it. I did not do it. So um, go and check it out. Would love to get your feedback on uh, moving through the website and um, the announcement the new section for all the meditation classes is there. We'd love to have you join us. Pisces, we need you. <laughs> In those classes, we are weaving the tapestry, as my guides have instructed. So, Pisces, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And um, I will, <clears throat> pardon me, I'll look forward to seeing you next month, Goddess Welling. It will be October, and the days are just going to be intense. So take care of yourself. We're in uh, the turning now which is why the readings are the way they are. We're going forward into the deepest part of this battle. We have Mars and Aries, and all the planets that are retrograde are going to be going direct, and it's really going to be on. So you're standing in the height of your shamanic power for this moment. I'll see you next month, goddess willing. Thank you, Pisces.